If I had to hazard a guess for why Elon Musk says things like this, why he has such a desire to control the place in which lots of people communicate and discuss their ideas, it's because that he, like most people with power, resource, privilege, obviously to the nth degree because he's the richest man in the world, have a deep, deep fear that the lower classes, the peasant class, which we are all a part of, myself included, will learn enough information to rise up and overthrow the elites that he is a part of. That is what they're afraid of. I think that because he has worked tirelessly for decades to articulate a very specific zero to hero type of story, this troubled genius who has beautiful pop stars on his arm, this is all a PR, it's very calculated, right? He doesn't want us to know. He doesn't want us to know about his family's complicity in apartheid. He doesn't want us to know about his father's emerald mines. He doesn't want us to know that the Colton that makes Teslas is predominantly cultivated by forced child labor. He doesn't want us to know that all of the conflict minerals that we talk about so much on this site, all of the times we're using forced labor, child slavery, all these things, that his company is complicit and is constantly named in lawsuits, lawsuits about it. So because he is one of the most rich and powerful people in the world, he knows that he can do what he can control, which is language, which is a form of colonization. He knows that if he can colonize language, if he can say what is safe to not say or to say, he can squash dissent and keep people from learning their true history because learning their true history would threaten the entire notion of capitalism, of billionaires, of all of these things that he has been the primary benefactor of. And if we were to really think about decolonization and what that would mean, Suddenly, a system where someone was capable of hoarding as much wealth and of extracting through colonial measures. Suddenly, people might say, huh, we shouldn't do that. So because he doesn't want people to have the huh moment, because he doesn't want people to mobilize or organize, he just bans the word. And what is very smart that he does in an evil, maniacal, genius type of way I'm using genius in a quotes because I don't actually think he's a genius, but like the cartoonishly evil genius that's in like, you know, Phineas and Ferb. He's like Dr. Doofenshmirtz. Is he demonizes critical thought. It's like Fahrenheit 451. And he tells you that he's the savior, that I'm here to protect your free speech. Because just yesterday he tweeted, I will do everything in my power to protect the free speech of people on this platform. And then the next day, if you say specific words I don't like, I will take away your ability to say them. This is classic autocratic behavior. This is classic anti-intellectualism. I'm just saying, y'all.